Hi, Scorpio. It's Jeffrey. This is uh, Red Color Jerome. This is your three card reading for this coming week, the 20th, well, including today through the 27th. It includes the winter solstice as well as the, uh, Christmas. I already did a little winter solstice um, video with a little suggestion for a meditation for an intention. So please check it out. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, press the bell for notifications. I am offering 30 minute readings for $30, as well as IET, which is integrated energy therapy. You could read more about it. All the information is below. So I, that's actually, uh, I reduced the price on that to the end of the year because um, I wanna help people. Okay, Scorpio, I'm your brother Scorpio. Your sister Scorpio, whatever you like, darling. One, two, three. There, wow, like wow. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Um, wow. Um, okay. The wish comes true. Attainment emotional fulfillment. Um, it's like more love and more abundance comes in, feeling more loved. So, you know, you might end up hearing from people that you haven't heard from a while, extending their kindness and love to you. But then we get like this, the mysterious path. You know, maybe the mysterious path is in the heart this is very interesting. So, you know, okay, I'm going to look at you because, you know, oh, I love to see the cards. It's like, well, you saw the cards. Because uh, then I don't, I feel like, now I feel like I'm talking to somebody, even though I'm just looking at me. Um, yeah, the moon has a lot of um, meanings. Maybe the mysterious path is about love. Maybe it's about love, you know, not this, this isn't necessarily like a romance sexual thing. Very interesting. Okay, so I threw three more cards. I've been giving everyone five minute readings. I don't know, that's where I'm at. I pulled double aces. I mean, it should be a really nice week. It should just really be a really nice week. Um, you know what I think it is? I think it's like you have, we have the opportunity this week to really um, decide where we wanna be, decide where we wanna be in here. And, I, you know, for me, through this whole COVID thing, like I've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And for the most part, I have to say lately, in the past, I don't know, month, six weeks, I've been pretty good. Uh, you know, I haven't really gone down that fear path. I haven't gone down that crazy path for the most part. You know, I do have my moments. I do have my moments. But I almost feel like this... Um, like tomorrow, the 21st is really like the switch as to where you want to sit. Because, you know, we can really go and say, we, we're so here, right? We're so deep in how we feel that, uh, like for me, I know my whole life is basically guided by how I feel. You know, you know, this comes in and other people, blah, 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 but it's really about like, how do I feel? So, you know, I think we're going to have conflicting feelings. There's going to be some conflicting feelings. And also, seeing things by the light of the moon is not seeing things clearly, right? So, it's also eclipse. So, I think we have to decide where we want to be and what we have to pay attention to. The other thing that I find really, really important for me um, 
you know, take this with, you know, either you use it or don't use it. You know, I don't know what else to say. It's very important what I put in my head. It's really just like it's important what I put in my body. I mean, here I am eating cookies, but I mean, but they're real cookies. You know, they're made out of like butter and sugar. They're not made out of all that weirdness. Um, I have to be careful what I watch. I have to be careful what I watch. So I started watching some series or some, and I only had just begun and it looked like, you know, okay, it was well produced, you know, and I started and I was like, they're gonna kill people in this thing. They're gonna kill people in this thing. I don't really wanna see anyone being killed anymore. I just don't wanna see it. You know, even if it's fake, I, I just don't wanna see it. I, I don't wanna take that in. I, I just don't wanna take that in, not at this moment. You know, I'm not saying I'm never gonna watch a movie like that again, but right now, no, no. I wanna watch things about flowers or something. That's where I'm at, that's where I'm at. So I think it's important what we put in our heads, just like it's important what we put in our bodies at this moment. You do pull, we do, we, we pull double aces and the wish card and the king of cups. So it, like, this is fabulous. This is the wish card. You get what you, what you wanted. And this guy is amazing. This is really the high point of what a Scorpio can be. And I don't go for this, you know, oh, these are five men. It's, just, it's all archetypes, it doesn't matter. Because the queen of cups is a little weird, I have to say. Uh, in, in certain other suits, the queen is kind of more together than the king, but in the in the cups, the king is more together than the queen. He is so compassionate. And the reason he's compassionate is because he's been there. He has been there. He understands emotional turmoil. He gets it and he's still there offering a gift. You know, sometimes I think that it's only through the emotional turmoil that, well, I know for myself, I'll just, I'll just put it like that. I like, I, I don't want to be in all humility. I have tremendous compassion and tremendous patience for people. And the reason that I have that and that I've developed that and I've developed that more and more as I've gotten older is because I've been there. I know, I know what it is to suffer. I know what it is to lose people. I know what it is to have my heart broken. I know what it, you know, I know about all those things. And, um, and so it's opened me up to a space of compassion that I never really imagined I could have, but I had to go through a lot to get there. I, you know, that's really the truth. And would I have been as compassionate had I not gone through the turmoil that I'd gone through and the transformation and the heartache? Probably not. Probably not. That's the truth. So, um, being the king of cups, being the king of cups, being the one who holds the space, right? Being the diplomat, being the one who brings two opposites together and, you know, brings, you know, it's almost like, um, you know, ideally like, like Jimmy Carter bringing Begin and, and Sadat together. It's like, you have your thing, you have your thing. Let's find a way, right? Let's find a way. You don't have to be best friends. I'm just saying don't kill each other. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, you know? And then maybe eventually you'll trade. Got me. Sometimes it's about bringing these pieces of ourself together too. It's about bringing all these pieces of ourself together and compiling something new that nourishes both sides. Anyway, you got the longest reading. So double aces, man. I think it's gonna be a good week. I hope so. If not, I'll come back on and complain. And blame everybody else. It's everyone else's fault. Okay. Blessings.
Thanks for tuning in. If you want a one-on-one, all the information is below.